In this super quick After Effects tutorial, we will learn how to make this light speed animation. And this one is super simple, it's basically just one or two effects. So, yeah, take your five minutes and let's just go right into it. So, let's make a new composition, just like this. And let's first of all add a solid for the background. And I'll just use a dark bluish color, something like this. And just press OK. And now we can duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl D or Command D. And yeah, the upper layer we will now use for the yeah the light speed effect. And yeah, first of all we need the starburst effect, the CC starburst effect, and just apply it on this layer. And now if we would yeah yeah play this animation. We see actually we can't see that much because it has the same color as our yeah background layer. So let's also give it a fill real quick and put a white color into it. And yeah, we can already see, now we can see something, for sure. And yeah, this looks weird, so let's add a few more effects. Starting with the light burst effect. And just apply it. And this one is really important because as you can see, now these points will turn into yeah, rays or lines at least. And yeah, now we can see, these are in the wrong direction actually. Or they are moving in the right direction, but yeah the tail is on the wrong side, so let's give the ray length a negative value, something like minus 150 should look good, and yeah, this is really nice, but now we can see that the edges look kinda empty, and this is not good, so let's add one more effect, which is the optics compensation effect, and this one is really nice, we have to make sure that the reverse lens distortion is activated, and then we can just bring this value up really high until the max basically. And now we can see the edges are fully covered. And yeah, this, okay, maybe this is too much. But yeah, just play around with these layer, this, uh, this setting. And yeah, we also might think that there are too much of these rays. So maybe let's bring down the scatter to a lower value, like 50. Oh no, actually opposite, we have to give it a higher value. So let's put in like something like 200 in here. And we can also increase the spacing between these things, which may be even smarter. But yeah, we can turn this back maybe. Uh, yeah, this is a lot of uh, yeah room to play. So just find whatever you think is enjoyable. But yeah, let's just, yeah, this, this looks good. You can just copy this if you want. But maybe we can still think that this is too light, so basically we don't see it strong enough. And for this we can add a matte Joker effect, just apply it on here and give the Joker 1 thing a quite low negative value. And as you can see now it will be way stronger. Maybe something like minus 90 is good, no no, yeah, minus 100 seemed good. And yeah, this is basically exactly what we want. Of course, we can play always with all of these options, so maybe we can make these yeah things a bit longer even, but this is basically the result. And yeah, maybe you also think that the animation is too slow, which I think is yeah maybe a good point, but to counter this, you can always play with the speed setting inside of these starburst effect. So if we increase it, it will be even faster and maybe more more realistic for a light speed effect. And this will take some time to pre-render, but yeah, this will basically just make it faster. And now my After Effects crashes, which is not good. But yeah, you can just try it for yourself. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.